Well, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I got my charge verter in. It's a signal. It's a it's what the EG4 100 amp 48 volt battery charger. Uh, it's that new charge verter they have. Uh, it's supposed to be up to 5,000, like 5,000 watts or something like that. But anyway, uh, I got it hooked to our batteries because year this time of year we don't get that much sun. But anyway, in order to use this. I've got to try to get my generator to work because it's been sitting so long that it don't want to start. So, uh, we'll see if we can get it to work. We'll go ahead and hook this up and I'll show you what it looks like once it's hooked up. And then we'll go check the generator and see what's up with it. But anyway, let's get this hooked up. Alrighty, we got the, the battery charger hooked up. I'm just going to set it here temporarily. Cause like I said, and we're going to be moving all this anyway, so I'm not going to bother fastening it to the walls or anything. Uh, I changed the plug. It's got a plug over here. I got a drop cord that's run up into this plug in here. It's a 10 gauge wire drop cord. Runs in here, and it's got a 30 amp receptacle in it right there. I just put that in there actually. Put that in there and you twist it. It's locked in. Then uh, then it's just like a drop cord around that time. It's going to plug into the generator. Um, We'll see if it works. I mean, I'm gonna to have to. I mean, it'll actually power on right now just by the battery power, but it won't charge, of course. So, I mean, it's, they say this is the same insides as a uh, like the 6548 or something like that. The same principle of it, but anyway, I don't know. We'll see how good it charges. Uh, let's see if we can get my generator to work. It's like I said, it's. It's basically brand new. It's just been sitting for three or four years inside the trailer down there, the enclosed trailer ours, and they haven't been crunk or nothing. So, hell, it might not run. So we'll see. We'll go look at it. What you doing? You're pushing it. You're pulling it.
All right, guys, we peddled with this thing for the last probably hour and a half, two hours. And uh, it's, like I said, it's been sitting for a long time. It's basically, you know, it's just been sitting inside the shed down there and it's just dirty. But it probably hasn't run maybe three or four tanks of gas to it since we bought it new. Uh, it's a Raven brand. I, I really ain't never heard of it, but this thing actually works really good, or it did. So, we even went and got a new battery and tried it. Yeah, we got a new battery and put in it. Uh, I took the carburetor off, tried to clean it a little bit. It's all it is, it's something to do with the carburetor because I can spray starter fluid in it and it runs fine. But uh, it just won't continue to run because the carburetor's, there's something stopped up in the carburetor. So I'm gonna put this back together and we're gonna run out to uh, uh, Royal King or somewhere and uh, try to get one of the little inverter charger generators, uh, something small, be cheap on gas because this thing here does like the gas. But uh, until I get this one fixed, I'm going to just go get a, another one for now because we, we need one. So anyway, we're going to run to the store and we're going to grab one. We'll be back in just a few minutes. What you working on, bub? Yes. Oh, yeah? Are you fixing it? Bubba working on Jedi? Yeah. Bob is going to give you your tools back to fix the generator. Me too. Me. Okay. But I like all these tools. Okay. All right, we went to Royal King and we bought the Champion brand. This one of the inverter generators. It's a 2,000 watt. Well, actually 1,700 watts, like 2,000 startups. But uh, it'll be fine for now. I'll just have to change the plugs on that charger. Oh, well, on that end of it anyway, because it's only 20 amp. But, uh, I mean, as long as it works, it'll be good enough for now. It'll be like a, a two box unboxing two different things. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll unbox this, we'll get it out of the box, and we'll show you what it did. Put oil in it. It actually comes with the oil. It's actually a pretty nice little generator. Yeah, it's got a little battery in it. Yeah, it's got a little battery in it. I don't know what all that is right there. Uh, 20 amp. It's got 12 amp. And it's off and on. And here's your choke. Well, that's pretty much all there was to it. Right, that's where you put oil in it. It says warning. No, it says notice. Avicio Avis. <laughs> says, I mean, I know what the hell it means. It means you gotta put oil in it before you run it, but. You don't have none. When you buy them new like that, they don't come with oil in them. Uh, it doesn't say how much it holds, so we'll just... It even come with a fill, uh, funnel. Fits right in there. Can't hold much. They only sent a quart with it, didn't they? Yeah. They can't hold much more than that anyway. It's probably what it holds in the quart. We'll never know because I can't get the cord on. There we go. Well, let's see.
So I want you to hold it. Hey, that old. The end of the third year. Baby shark. It should say on it how much you put in it. Does that have electric start? No. Oh yeah, that's a manual. I'll uh, I'll electric you can pull it with. <laughs> I'll put like half of it and see. The paper right here might sound like gold, I don't know. You just drag it off or anything. Or... <laughs> oh. You want a free t-shirt? Leave a review. It's got a dipstick. Let me check it. Yeah, it's got one here, but I can't see it. Plus, I'm on the dipstick. I don't mind. 16.9 fluid ounces or 0.5 quarts of oil and fluid half is replaced. So, cap, and that's probably that's one quart, so that's a half quart, right? Yeah, I know, but half of it. Right, you can check it out. But I put, well, actually, it was a little bit low, the quart was. I put more than half in it. Right there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I guess that's the fill one. You want to put the... Yeah. Yeah, it's actually a pretty nice little generator. I mean... It's been a whole lot nicer if I didn't have to buy one because I got a brand new one sitting over there. Yeah, that's true. What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, we need gas, buddy. Back up a little bit, Katie. Back up just a little bit, baby. Back up oh, just a little bit. Me. So it don't splash on you. Then you smell like gas. Are you going to eat that pig here? No, buddy. Buddy's going to eat it? Yeah. Where's he at? Uh, in the house. In the house? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Nana, get him. Okay, thank you. Hey, Nana. Okay, I will. Let me huffing, guys. You smell good, kid. I used to like to smell the gas, too. Get back, baby. Stay back. He went and put his working gloves on. Did you put your gloves on? You gonna crank it up for me? Yeah. Okay, we'll crank it in a minute. That's enough for this one. My dog's shot. Hang on, we're gonna wipe it off. Your daddy ain't too good with gas cans. Apparently not. You gonna crank it, Kevin? Oh. Oh, that right there, please. Oh, so you can get the plug. It comes in a little compact thing, don't it? Yeah. That's a compact ass little generator. Yeah, we're going to crank it right now. Let's put, hold it up for you. Yeah. got to put the sign on it. Bubble. Okay, hang on just one second, Bubba. Turn it over to run. That's an electric start thing right there, I think. What? It's manual. Yeah, but this is the link to, so that you can put an electric start well, on. I think it's for jumping cable. Hang on just a second, baby. Okay, you get guys on you? I don't think you got guys on you, but here. 
Right. You're welcome. Well, one pull. One pull is all. Never been started. Yeah. It's quiet too. Yeah, that's what they're supposed to be known for, like being twisted for quiet. Yeah, it's super quiet. And one pull and it's never been cranked. It's in eco mode. It's never even had gas run through it. One pull did it. Yeah. Eco mode means it'll idle itself up when you put a load on it. So, let's turn up. We put gas in it, put oil in it, one pull and it fired up. Okay, and you think you can crank that? I mean, that's good. Yeah. Pull it, Bo. Try it. Pull it. Ready? Pull it, Bo. That's going to yank your arm off. I ain't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> pull it, Bo. You can do it. It just about could. It was that easy to yeah. crank it. It really was. Yeah, that's it. I need more gas. That's pretty simple. Huh? Well, I'm, yeah. huh? I'm, I'm gonna grab this uh, drop cord and we'll go ahead and plug it up. Yeah. <coughs> That's mine. This yours? Yeah. Well, can I use it? No. I can't? No. Well, what if I need it? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, okay, okay, I figured I could if I needed it. This is what goes in that other end, What is it? Whatever this is. I'm pretty sure you can electric start that way. You can use it for a battery charger according to that, I think. Because that's, that's battery. Like a jump off? Clamp, yeah, kind of, yeah. Um, run out of juice. All right, here's the, here's the other end of that. Where I got it plugged up in there in the house. Just, I just got a 15 amp plug on this side. Uh, I have to go in there and make sure that's turned down where it ain't pulling too much power. But I'm gonna crank it. Yeah. Why don't we set it on the ground and then we can go on our chest? Fire it. Does that work? Hey Jordan, take it out of eco mode. Just see what that does. Yeah. 
there and not big enough to run. And I got we got this hooked up and that little generator it's uh I mean it's it's working but it ain't nowhere near big enough. I've got this wired for 120. You can wire it 120 or 240. I wired it for 120 because of that little generator. I'll put it back to 240 when I get the big generator running again. All I have to do is just change the plug again. Um right now I've got it set for 20 amps, and it's uh, it's putting 19.8 amps in into the batteries right now. I don't know if you see that or not. I don't know if it shows on the screen or not, but 19.8 amps into the batteries. Um, I mean this thing's working like it should. This should. It's just we won't got that generator because it was the cheapest one we could find. I didn't want to spend a fortune on another generator because we got that big one out there. I just got to clean the carburetor or something in it. I don't know. Because you spray, it runs perfectly fine when you spray start putting in it. So I, I, I have to get that running again because this right here just won't. That little generator just won't cut it. You know, like on bad days and stuff like that because it takes seven, eight amps to run the house just with lights and refrigerators and freezers. And this thing here is putting, I got, like I said, I got to set it 20 amps. And it don't get, on the, people always say they get real hot. That, I suppose that's at 100 amps. I don't want to run it that, that high. I've got it, like I said, I've got it running 19.8 amps in the battery right now. 20 amps. Yeah, I got it set on 20 amps. I don't want the battery to go to 56.3 on this thing. So, like I said, this thing, it runs on 240 or 120. Okay, that's alarm on that. This thing right here, it'll do that. It'll shut down. When the sun goes down and has, it's not reading enough voltage, this thing will power off. Uh, I need to turn that beeper off because that would drive you crazy. Uh, whenever we move this into the other room, I'm going to mount this on the wall, this thing here, this charger. And I'm probably gonna get another one of these. So, but anyway, I mean, I guess that's kind of the unboxing of this thing and that inner that generator too. It's a little Champion generator, 2,000 watt. Yeah, it works. I don't want to go above 20 amps on this thing because I don't want it may kick that breaker out on that and out there again. I kicked the breaker off one time. This thing here is about to power off because it's, it's only reading 20 volts, 120 volts, 119 volts. The sun's going down, of course, but it will it'll shut completely off. That's one good thing I like about this one is it it shuts off whenever there ain't no uh, solar. That way it's not using the power. The power. Alright, like I was saying, this thing's got, uh, it's like 20 amps coming out of the charger, but we've only got 11 amps going into the batteries, 629 watts going into the batteries, because I guess it takes the rest of that to run the house, I suppose. I don't know how accurate this thing is, but anyway, that's what we got. I mean, I don't see it charging the batteries anytime soon with that, but I guess it's better than nothing. Right now we got 11.8 amps, one of the batteries. As you can see, the battery's at 55% because the sun goes down here at what, 4.30. Or it's, it stops charging around 4, 4.30. They hadn't charged and completely back up in over a week now, so. That's where we're at. So, anyway. Just a video on us hooking the charger up. I mean, it, if we get that other generator working, then I'll, I'll have to rewire the plugs, of course, but then, you know, I get 40, 50 amps at least going into them because I am gonna let, I may leave it 120. I don't know. I think I think I'll put out like 40, 50 amps at 120. 
But I mean, if we, have, if we get the other one working, I'll just put it back on 240 and throw the whole 100 amps on it and I'll charge them quick then, so. But for right now, that, it's better than nothing, but it ain't gonna work long like that. It just, a little generator be good for emergencies like running tools and stuff like that, but it's not big enough to run that battery charger the way it should be run. I've got it set at 20 amps and it just, it just ain't hitting on much. I mean, it works good, just, But anyway, all right guys, like and subscribe.